Hello everyone, I'm glad you are here joining me for another lesson. In the last lesson, we talked about staying connected to God. I shared with you all how I am staying connected to God. I also asked if you could share how you are staying connected to God. Please send me a short video or an email showing how you are staying connected. In this lesson, we will talk about how to stay connected to family and friends by letting your light shine. We know it's important to stay home whenever possible during the global pandemic. By keeping our physical distance from family and friends helps us keep us healthy. We need to follow the guidelines and wash our hands and wear our masks to keep ourselves and our loved ones safe. So how can we stay connected with our family and friends? By shining your light on them. Some of you may know the Christian song called This Little Light of Mine. I used to love singing this in Sunday school. And some of the words it says, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Today and every day, let your understanding of God's love and forgiveness shine in the world for everyone to see. When you let your light shine, people will see the goodness and the love that you have. This goodness comes from God. It is important to let your light shine always. We can all stay connected with others in ways that will shine a light on our relationship. For example, I make these videos to share a light on the relationship with God. By making these videos, I am sharing God's love, His words, and His stories with all of you. So, if you're missing your family and friends, here are a few creative ways you can do to feel connected. Of course, with parent supervision and letting your light shine. 1. A game of tag. Instead of the traditional game of tag, you can challenge your family and friends to learn a new game or a dance. You can send it by video. It is a fun way to see what you are learning and how much fun it is to share your goodness and love with others. Two, send the snail mail. Break out the envelopes, the stamps, the pens, the crayons and paper and get creative with writing. Write a letter to someone you love, like your grandparents, a family member who lives far away. You can even send a letter to your best friend or friends from church. Find ways to decorate the letter with your own art creations. It is a good way to brighten someone's day. Three, create a happiness box. A happiness box is a great way to write down your feelings of worry, anxious, or scared. You can even write down when you're happy, joyful, or bored. Decorate an old shoe box with bright colors. Use fun stickers and cutouts. Once the outside is decorated, fill the box with things that make you happy. Like your favorite book, a photo that makes you smile, a letter from a loved one, a picture your friend gave you, or something that makes you feel loved and special. When you feel sad, open the happiness box and let your light shine. You can even make happiness box to your friends or neighbors. Three, DIY, do-it-yourself projects. Make kindness rocks. On a walk around your neighborhood, search for rocks that you can easily paint at home. You can write kindness messages on them and leave them in your friend's yard. This is a great way to share your light. Hang up art in your window for friends to see. Take a poster board, construction paper, or just plain paper and draw a picture. Or leave a message. Tape it to the inside of your window where friends can see it as they walk by. Let's have a play date by video. We can still enjoy being together using video. One, we can play a game of charades, Pictionary or Hangman, or any other game of your choice. Two, we can play dolls, dress up, or even Legos. 
three. We can take turns reading a book or doing an art project. Four, we can have lunch and just talk. By staying connected, we are sharing our love with one another, just like God shares his love with us. You can always check out Pinterest for more DIY activities. Here is what Jesus said, Matthew 5 verse 16. Let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. This means shine so others can see your goodness and your kindness that God has given you. By sharing your light, you are thanking God. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for your love. Let the light of your love shine from my heart to you, and may I share that light with others. Amen. I hope you let your light shine. I hope to hear how you are staying connected with God. See you next time. Bye.